Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. We are a few minutes away before the Supergirl Season 3 Episode 2 premiere is upon us. My girlfriend's off camera, gonna watch it with me. Did you like the Season 3 premiere? Did you like the Season 3 premiere? I liked it. It was a little weird at the end, but... A little weird? I was excited like that, that last little thing, yeah. like what the... Yeah. yeah, it was teasing the villain Rain. Like, she doesn't know yet. So maybe they'll give a little more hinting of that. Um, but I like the promo, because I, I did see the promo, of showing this, like, psychic girl that shows up. I forget the character's name, but she's basically going to be not physically fighting Kara, but mentally. I, don't, I really don't know, because, I mean, the promos were just kind of vague. But uh, I like the season two premiere because she was more serious, but uh, now I guess she's going back to regular Supergirl Kara, more happy, upbeat. So, I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So, let's get into it, guys. Let's go. And we're DJ. Oh. That is a hard decision. The human mind reacts to music very much like other stimuli. Tastes, smells. The song doesn't sound exactly the way you used to hear it again. You enjoy it less. And are therefore less likely to get jiggy on the dance floor. I say DJ. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. It's all with the mind. Oh. The hell? Why is she not? She's a reporter. She's telling me a job. Now, did you think that I didn't want to be there? Is that what you didn't tell me? Well, to be honest, I thought you would be too busy to act as my chaperone. I don't want a chaperone. I don't consider myself a chaperone. I consider myself a person who's been running this company for a year. Oh. All right, Mr. Olsen. Oh. I'll meet you with the advertising department in 20 minutes. I'll see you then. See you in 19. 20 will be fine. Damn. Okay. Getting a little bit hostile. A little bit. Fears of power. Oh, fear. Oh. That's... That's Krypton before she got sent away. Oh, she's been... Oh, you. Mm. That is terrible. She's seeing all this again? Ooh. Clark. Yep. Getting knocked into the Phantom Zone. Wait, no, that's the destruction of Krypton. Yep. And that knocks her in to the dead, the Phantom Zone, dead zone, whatever. I told her that you rescued me at the waterfront. That you have superpowers. <laughs> what? That I have superpowers. Yeah, you do. You'll be a villain. I want is you can tell me, you know? It's personal. And I don't want to talk about personal things on my job. I have work to do. Damn. Okay. Yeah. A little testy here, too. A little testy. Whoa. The hell? I want to button your shirt back up, just saying. claustrophobic that was the first time that Psy hit her so now she's in a small space and it's hitting her again I'm guessing Aha! Uh -huh. For Rube. what reason? Room. Room. 
Why text or call her? Wait, her mom ordered pizza and now you're at a place eating pizza. Oh no. Oh. Oh, 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 my god. oh god, that is creepy. Oh my god. That's disgusting. Yep, yep. Oh, oh don't tell your mom where you are now. Come save me. <laughs> You're terrible. You are terrible. What are you doing? Go back inside. If she dies, that's on her. Yeah. I'm just saying, I don't want a teenager to die, but Jesus. <laughs> that's, that's awful. Who would just walk out there when that's happening? That idiot. <laughs> trying to prove a point. Oh. Oh. Okay. Save. Okay. Oh! oh dead. That's not real, though. Punch in the face. Punch in the face. Or that. Realistically, that probably should have killed her, but whatever. Uh oh. But, um, I've never seen myself being a mom. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Oh, of course. That's a kick in the face. Damn. Well, I think that kind of ruined things. Oh! Thank you so much for being so understanding. This is interesting. can't do it. Maybe it's emotion? Maybe? So there you have it, guys. Supergirl season three, episode two. What'd you think? I really liked it. Really liked it. I really liked it. I'm noticing something about this season so far. It seems like the like the talking scenes, which happens a lot because budgetary reasons, it seems more, I don't know, emotional. It feels like it's. I feel like there's a lot more attitude this season. Oh yeah, it's definitely attitude. It's definitely a lot of attitude. Yeah, and Kara is like, I'm a Kryptonian, like all the time now, but. It's, I don't know, it, it feels like it, they're taking it more serious this time. Because I noticed like a lot of times when they have these emotional scenes, especially during season two when they switched to the CW, because season one was CBS. CW, it felt like they just played a lot of music over all these mo emotional moments you're supposed to be like really understanding these characters. It feels like there's more like dead air, where it's just them talking a lot more. Um, I'm liking how they're slowly building up the main villain, like her daughter and all that. I like it because usually when it's a main villain, they just get right to the point why they're evil. But this is like slowly setting up her not being Rain yet. And they're also kind of saying, okay, you're going to get really attached to the kid because the kid's going to die. And so she can become Rain because her, her, the whole episode, her daughter got in a fight because someone said that your mom didn't pick up that thing in episode one to save her. So she punched the girls in the face. Then she goes out and says, save me, mom. She walks out there, and her mom didn't end up saving her. Supergirl stopped the wrecking ball. 
But it's it, they're they're setting up that that because especially that whole scene. No, honey, you always be my most favorite thing. Blah, blah, blah. Nah, she's dying. Then she tries to bend the, the bar and it didn't work. Yeah. I think it's emotion. I think it's the emotion that kind of brings that power out of her. Um, so I think that's what's going to happen. It's gonna it, her daughter's going to die in front of her and she can't do anything to stop it. And that's going to make her go full reign where the emotion is overpowering so she'll have the powers all the time. That's my guess. Um, and then seeing that little thing where Alex and Maggie are disagreeing about kids. That kind of tells me the wedding's off. They're not going to get married. Mm -mm. Because that was a big shift. And then it was like, hey, did you figure out uh, about uh, band or DJ? Alex was like, no. And that was in the conversation. <laughs> Watching Wizard of Oz. Great choice, by the way. Uh, I thought her reliving her last moments on Krypton was really good. I like the fact that we we didn't get to see that at all. We just saw the ship flying out of through the tunnel and the explosion of Krypton. We didn't see where she's floating slowly on like the planet and you see everything being destroyed and then she's in space and then it's she's being spun around. You see Clark, Superman's pod go off and then the explosion spins her around and she gets stuck for all those years we never saw that so the fact that they found a way to kind of reshow that is interesting because it's a different perspective we've not seen yet um and yeah i mean i, I think it's overall was just a better episode lena luther now kind of taking over kind of like eh, you know we'll get to you later jimmy olsen at some point and i think that with her being there and seeing Kara constantly leave to go take care of stuff, which is her being Supergirl. That's how Lena's gonna find out that she's Supergirl. She's gonna find out eventually. Oh, she'll find out this season. I'm thinking she will. There's no way they can get around it now. Um, and it's about how Lena responds, that's the key. Because if Lena responds negatively, then it's just like Lex Luthor and Superman. So if she responds differently, then maybe there'll be a different relationship. I don't know, they've been teasing for a bit that Lena might go evil. Not, probably, not main villain, but at least to the point where no longer friends. I don't know. I guess it all depends because Supergirl and her have always worked together. And Lena doesn't know. So maybe Lena will accept it. But then she'll also say, you lied to me, Kara. You lied to me. So I guess it just depends. But I overall enjoyed the episode. Curious to know what you guys thought. Let me know in the comment section below. Any final thoughts? This, that's it? That's it. You're just like, I'm just done talking. Just in the, <laughs> I get it. I liked it. Okay. It was really good. I know, but don't yell at me. I, Jesus. I'm not yelling. You're yelling at me. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Peace out.